it's kind of a beautiful day today like the european autumn when the trees are becoming like yellow red really looks amazing like it makes me or it's asking me like to go out but i cannot because i am sick i went to the doctor today and i got that sick leave up until next monday and today is wednesday i have to be stuck at home i just got like two hours allowance to go out but if you are on the doctor leave and you are employed you have to stay in your house during the allowed hours you can walk out there is a thing which there are people who can come to your house check if you are at home if you are not at home they will take your sick leave they will take your money because even during this time i'm here at home not working I'm still getting my salary, but I have to keep with the rules which are set. Since Monday, I've been struggling with sore throat, fever, but I was still going to work, trying to figure out it by myself. Nothing worked out. I went to the doctor today. It's uh, tonsillitis. I was not really happy about it. I was worried I will get antibiotics, but my case was my tonsillitis was not caused by bacteria, but by the virus. Here is a tip for you guys, if the doctor will tell you your tonsillitis is caused by the virus, will still give you antibiotics, I would change the doctor in that case, because antibiotics works against bacteria. antivirotics works against <coughs> viruses. Also another update from our lives with Gwen that we both already quit our jobs, but we still agreed we will finish up until the end of the year and that will be done i quit on monday gwen as well for gwen it was like smooth leaving her colleagues were crying she will leave kids were crying as well that's like kind of sweet for me it was not really that nice story my boss called me like i betrayed him that it's not fair from me like those like people are leaving people are changing jobs it's nothing uh nothing in common i would say but because of that i'm home doing nothing i want to be at least a little productive gwen is at work and i chatted her what she wants to eat once she will be home and of course guys gwen replied with i don't know anything so she will get that anything from me i'm planning to make her like filipina lumpias it's not gonna be the exact same recipe according to the Filipinos because I working with the ingredients I have currently at home so you can see how my lumpias will be made so the lumpias we will have chicken lumpias yesterday I was planning to make kebab so this chicken is prepared to make kebabs but plans changed we will have lumpias because I found these rice papers here i don't even know when or why we bought that with gwen but it's here i don't know how to work with that but i will find out later and onion and leek unfortunately there is one thing missing the most important ingredient in every filipino dish which is garlic i don't have any it's gonna be a garlic less lumpias also here gwen wanted mongo soup I don't have any mongo at the moment, so here I just have chicken broth, which I take out of the freezer, I will let it melt and later I will make that mongo soup for Gwen. And we will see later what will happen with that wrapping. Get a pan. It's The pan is hot. Meat looks kinda ready, so I will set it aside. But I will include some leek. Let's add a bit of oil. An onion with leek can go inside. The onion is quite intense making me cry ah. I will let the vegetables 
roast for a while, then I will put the meat back, add some sauces, and the filling for lumpias will be done. Meat goes in. Sweet chili sauce. Then sweet and sour sauce. I will let the flavors connect together. Oi, dirty. And I can start preparing the rice paper. I'm glad they include the manual for the rice papers. It says like let it soak in the warm water, it will become like soft and then you can uh, fill it with the meat and vegetables and make a roll. So I hope or I believe it's gonna be easy, easy peasy. It's a great thing they are still putting manuals on everything because we as a man, we need manuals and we can understand them easily. Unfortunately, they are not including manuals to women. If women are coming with manuals or tips, everything would be much easier for both sides. So, warm water is ready. Rice, rice paper in. Oh my god. Oh, it's going like this. Uh -huh. It feels good to me now. It feels good. Oh, the pitch. I will let the surface wet as well. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. I will find the... Oi, oi, yeah, that's it. Now I will add a little bit of fillings. I actually don't know how to roll it properly. I know how to roll tortillas, but not lumpias. I will just go with tortillas way. As I found out, it's really good to make the surface wet before you will put the paper, because then it will stick. And let's repeat. Here I am done with my lumpias. It doesn't look kinda all the same, of course. They are unique, each of them. But still it looks kinda different than I was trying in the Philippines. The ones in the Philippines, they were like more like orange, yellow. But we will see. I thought I'm done, but I'm not. I just made research about lumpia recipes and I have to fry them so they will become that crispy and yellow-orange color so let's fry them I didn't know that actually oil goes in oh my god it's so so many calories I really I'm really not a fan of that deep frying and stuff like that I use oil for cooking because oil and the fats generally brings the flavor to the foods but the deep frying i'm just trying to stay away from it so we will get those babies some oil bath and we will see what will happen and if the most important thing if the gwen will approve it if it's like filipino lumpias or not so the frying was successful Still, it doesn't look like the real lumpias in the Philippines, but I would say maybe I'm using the different rice paper than, it's, than it should be used. But this time, like that home cooking, I would say, I don't care how the food looks. I will, I care more about how it tastes. I would say it's not really bad. <clears throat> in my opinion, I guess I put 
too much of the sauces it overbeats the flavor of vegetable and the chicken but still not bad so we will wait for Gwen and she will let us know there is my woman <laughs> what's that? come you will not regret of coming home today <laughs> Oh baby, since morning I'm blowing blood from my nose. It's unstoppable, really. I don't understand what's Crazy. going on. It's been three weeks like this. We will go to the hospital. No. So they will cut off your nose. I guess I have sinusitis infection. Well, now you can see Gwen in her typical Filipino outfit. <laughs> Stop. And let's move on. What's this? Why are you hanging it there? It's not a hanging for clothes. We will move on to the topic. I prepared lunch. Yeah? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Wow, lumpia? Are you even serious? Is it real lumpia? We'll see. As I found out, fresh, I don't fresh. have <coughs> proper wrap for lumpias. Where did you find your wrap? We had in the upper cabinet. Really? There was hiding rice paper. But it's delicious, baby. Yeah, is baby. It? Yeah. Yeah. Rice is good. But, you know, you know what's your mistake? Lumpia meat should be grinded. But you're putting the whole meat in it. It's not gonna be lumpia. But I don't have grinder. You have to chop it as small as it is. It was supposed to be for kebab in a bread. And I mm. changed my mind. You're indecisive as well, just like me. Mm, no. It's like no. the moment I'm cooking, my mom's like, is it really nice? Oh, I'm fa I think I'm gonna change it. Because that's how indecisive I am. Yeah, in the end, it's me cooking. <laughs> I love it. I love the sauce. I, I'm approved by a Filipina. Oh, there is actually that sauce in the filling. So how are you feeling now, baby? We are both sick. You gave me the virus. I was feeling better, but then you got sick because you have a virus, and now the virus is transferred to me. Now I'm sneezing or blowing my nose with blood. Mm. Because of that, what? I will show you guys a home remedy for sore throat or hard cough, or if your lungs are full of mucus, how you can solve it with the ingredients you have at home and Gwen already knows what I mean and I'm not, very excited about it I'm not really happy about it because it's been one month that I'm sick for one month I'm not getting better I got sick started from my birthday October 2 so why are you still going to work every day? why don't you take a leave from no, it's not even October like 2, it was September, the last week is September but it got worse after my birthday because I received those flowers it was September Last week that I was absent at school because I was having fever I started that I'm not getting better Now, I still have this horrible and cough mm. Well, there is a solution You need to calm down, stay in bed, relax for so many days Not for so many hours, it's not enough So, you can choose You will be sick longer or you will sacrifice those couple of days from Doctor leave, which are still going to be paid. And so I have a doctor leave? Mm, could be. I'm scared to be absent from school. And here is the difference between us with Gwen. She is afraid to be absent, and I'm excited to be absent. <laughs> I can't really, even if I have doctor's leave, still I feel very uncomfortable with that. Betraying them? Yeah, I feel like they're gonna be mad at me or what. Are they? No, but still, I'm scared. Are you going to let your employers abuse you? No. So many employees are abused every day. It should not be us and it should not be anyone else. No. And they will keep abusing us up until we will lose a temper and we will quit. And then they will be asking, why did you quit? I was treating you well. That's what you did said. Did you really? That's what you experience, right? Yeah, and I was telling everyone that you experienced very nicely that the teacher colleagues were crying. Yeah, <laughs> they were crying, but don't leave. Mm. And as I promised, that home remedy for sore trout. Get yourself some salt right to the cup. More than enough is always better. Hot water. 
A little bit the sole. Now Gwendy will show you how it's done. Come here. Do you okay. want me to drink it? No, you will not drink that. No, I want it. It helps every time. What's you this? are not actually drinking the water, but you are gargling it. Here. You the said doctor, you have cuffs or throat as well. The doctor said I will gargle it. I'm also going. How many times? How many minutes? Twice. You will sip a little. Mm. Now oh, it's enough. <laughs> And that's it. Why well, it's very salty? <laughs> because it's I, too much. Because I put sugar. That's it. You will gargle. The salty water will stay in your trout. So the doctor <laughs> said just salt? She, he did not give us medicine? He did. And that's all? It's not warm water? Why it's cold water? Make sure you will drink enough water before doing this. Because if you will just drink water after the gargling, it will flow to your stomach and it will... <laughs> It will not stay in your trout and be ready for that. It may makes you vomit a little because it's really disgusting. Ellie, why are you letting me gargle without drinking water? No, I just ate and I didn't drink water. And here with this hilarious tip of the day, we are in the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching the video of ours again. Hit the like and subscribe button and button and see you in the next <laughs> Why video. Why can you pronounce N? <laughs> button. Say button. Button. Yeah. Good job.